Hello and welcome back to our part two lesson of fractions. In the previous lesson we learned how to add a fraction with the like denominators and we also worked with unlike denominators. Today we're going to do the exact same thing but we're going to add the subtraction sign instead. So let's get started. Let's say we have seven ninths on this side. Nine parts of course, and I've said this before, is, is the whole. And we have seven of those parts that we're using. And from that seven ninths, we're going to subtract two ninths. Once again, the whole being of nine parts, but this time we're going to take two of those parts away from the seven. And so we end up with an answer of five over nine. Okay, the denominator stays the same all the way through. We don't add, we don't subtract. As long as the denominator is the same, it will retain that same value in its answer. Moving on to the second part, we're going to take two fractions, we're going to subtract them. The only difference is the denominators will be different. So let's start off with this fraction here, two-thirds. Three parts representing the whole, two parts of what we're using. And from this value, we're going to subtract one-quarter. Now this obviously presents a problem, and you're probably thinking, how do I do that? It's very similar to the previous lesson. What we do, draw a line, and what number can you think of that 3 and 4 goes into? And in this particular example, it's quite simple. We just add, we multiply 3 times 4, and you come up with a value of 12. And we know that 3 goes into 12 4 times. So what I ask you to do is I'll take this. 3 into 12 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. Moving on to the second fraction. 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 3 times 1 is 3. All we have to do is bring down the subtraction sign, and we simply do the arithmetic. 8 minus 3 is 5, and we keep the denominator of 12. And that, my friends, is how simple subtracting fractions with diff different denominators is. Thank you, and we'll see you part three, multiplying and dividing fractions.